Sunday afternoon is a classic Lowry industrial landscape. This work was painted in 1957, really at the height of his career, and it encompasses everything you want to find in a Lowry painting. What you see in the painting is Lowry's ability to create these three horizontal sections to the painting with the buildings and people in the foreground, then moving to the central panel with the park in it, and then behind the all-important looming industrial landscape. And you have it all on the larger scale that he produced, so the impact is incredible. Lowry is considered one of Britain's most popular and famous artists. Lowry moved with his family to Pendlebury in 1916. He then went on to become a rent collector, and through being a rent collector, he visited the factories and the tenement houses uh, where the workers lived, and he observed. He was a great observer of life, and in that observation, it informed the subject matter of his paintings, the industrial landscape, factories and humanity, you know, the realities of that life. There is no other artist who paints really in his style. He doesn't fit into any art movement, and he's quintessentially a uniquely British artist who's represented a very idiosyncratic view of the industrial landscape, which was such a big feature of many parts of the north of England. In Sunday afternoon, we can see uh, Lowry emerging post the Second World War, and there's definitely a lighter sense in the paintings he produces at this period. And I think we see that represented not only just in the subject matter, but also in the colour palette, which, though still with Lowry's limited five colours, is still much lighter and brighter than his previous work. I absolutely love this painting, and when I look at it, there's just so much to see. I don't know where to start and where to stop. If you start in the background, you've got this wonderful panoramic industrial view, centred and anchored by the Acme Cotton Mill, which features in so many of his paintings. But then there are other iconic subjects throughout, whether it's the viaduct or the Peel Park bandstand. But then you've got the classic crowds, classic subject matter here that you can't help but spend ages and ages looking through it, catching little moments. And he was so clever because he does this just with little dabs of paint, even here, just single dabs, and you've got the semblance of groups of people coming together. But I love the little scenes here. The child who's screaming because the ball's fallen out of the pram. The orators on their soapboxes, and then of course in the background, a great passion of his, football being played here and football being played there. And then the tenement buildings, the tenement housing here, you can see it. It's just a wonderful painting. One of only a tiny number of paintings on this scale. We believe there are 13 he painted between 1950 and 1960. And so this is a work of great rarity that has not been seen since it was acquired by the current owners in 1967. But it's a wonderful, wonderful painting that has everything that any collector of Lowry might want to have.